Taurus, hi. This will be a tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you enjoy this reading, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's get started. You have cut communications with certain people, maybe even in somewhat of a harsh way. You're sort of going towards, you know, a victorious new beginning for yourself. You're, you're, the end of your difficulties is on the way because it seems like you're sort of crossed with someone who's having difficulty moving on that or a situation that's just having trouble budging in some way or breaking through. I really do kind of get the impression of a person though as far as this resistance because everything about you would suggest movement and clarity for the most part I would say. But in the outside influence we have sort of a return cycle and a lack of victory. So whatever that is I would probably just discount it and move forward. You have the magician behind you, so I feel like you've set certain things into motion. You've began to, you know, manifest a lot for yourself here. You maybe made a decision that had caused sort of a sudden tower or, you know, it sort of blew your old world to pieces because everything here sort of talks about finality and drastic changes. But I would say for the better because there isn't really an ominous tone to it except for maybe people you leave behind. So if you're experiencing some negative repercussions socially, again, I wouldn't really stress about it. Ah, but see, now that we get a little bit deeper, you do have your own uh, troubles or insecurities. Again, I don't think that that's going to really affect you too much, though. You may, you know, I feel like you're sort of suffering as far as your mental health goes because you might be stressing yourself out or worrying yourself to death. But you continue to take action even without, you know, a certain understanding of what's to come. But the important thing to note here also is you already have some level of foundation or stability you've built in your life that you can kind of lean on. So, I, you know, as much as you seem to be worrying about all this, I, I don't um, I don't necessarily see it problematic because ahead of you, you do have celebration, right? Um, and the conclusion of chapters in a positive way. But also in the things unseen, we have the sun. And the sun for me is one of the best cards you can get because, I mean, especially if it's in the outcome, you know, it represents all things abundant. You know, for me, it entails all around joy and abundance and opulence and really a sense of freedom. Just, you know, the ability to move and be how you want. And you're sort of waiting on this, even though um, you're maybe <clears throat> trying not to pay attention to it as much as possible. This is gonna go very well for you, especially if it's in your professional affairs, because something seems to come to light. And whatever that is, it sends you barreling forward. Because, you know, this, this is a card of, um, you know, recognition in a lot, a lot of ways. It's sort of, the the great cathedral i mean these people are you know admiring this person's work right so it sort of suggests being noticed in a way
And you know, a lot of this comes from leaving behind sort of backwards passions or backwards ambitions or sort of a skewed way of looking at things because you're also dropping the devil. So that would entail a level of vice or obsessive thinking or you know anything like that. It's a self-imposed prison that you freed yourself from. And then we find yourself at the magician and the knight of wands. Now this could talk about a partnership because it's two separate people and sometimes I will think of that, but really I think that this embodies traits that you're finding within yourself as you balance out the elements within, right? And you be able, you're, you're becoming free to think more creatively, becoming more confident, and sort of nurturing something into existence for yourself. And, you know, again, I think that there's a level of stress around this just because you're not entirely clear, but I think that this is gonna go surprisingly well, Taurus. So whatever you do, don't throw in the towel, okay? So Taurus, I hope you found this reading helpful, enjoyable. If so, please do like and subscribe. I'm gonna take it a bit further on my Patreon. So if you want to join us there for the rest of the reading, uh, that is the first link below and have a great day.